Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So in today's video, we're going to be covering statics and we're going to be looking at how to find moment about a point. And this will be our second part in this series. So what we have going on here today is that we have this object here on the left and we have a force of 800 newtons that acts on this bracket as shown. And we have to determine the moment of this 800 newtons of force about point B down here. So keep in mind that moment will be a force times a perpendicular distance. So if you were to keep this 800 newtons of force in its angled form here, you would need to find the distance to point B that forms a right angle with that 800 newtons as shown. Or what you can do, which is going to be the easiest option in most cases, is that you will resolve your angled force into an X and Y component. So we would have some Y version of this 800 newtons going upward and some X version of this 800 newtons going to the right for its X and Y components. And the reason why I know they're going up into the right is because the 800 newtons is going up and to the right. So let's go ahead and let's find these forces here or these components of this 800 newtons. And this would make it so much easier because this Fx, its perpendicular distance to get it down to B would be 160 millimeters. And the perpendicular distance from the Fy to get it over to B would be 200 millimeters. Keep in mind, whenever you have a vertical force, you will need a horizontal distance. And whenever you have a horizontal force, you will need a vertical distance to create that moment. So let's just call this point A and let's find out what our Fy and what our Fx forces will be. <clears throat> well, our Fy will simply be our 800 newtons and that will be multiplied by the sine of the angle in which that 800 is at, which would be sine of 60. And the reason why I have sine here is because, well, if we were to draw the force triangle real quick, this would be the 800. This would be my Fx, and this would be my Fy over here, and this would be my angle of 60. The Fy is opposite that 60, or you can remember it like this, that the Fy is not touching that angle, so therefore it is sine, it is opposite. And then, well, hang on, let's go ahead and just figure this out. So this would be 800 sine of 60, which is 692.8 newtons. And then the Fx would be 800 once again, but this time it is cosine of 60 because the angle's off of the X. It is adjacent, so it is cosine. And this pops out to be 400 newtons. So now we have our two forces here. So it's like we just removed this 800 newtons and we are left with the Fx and the Fy. So to find the total amount of moment caused by these two forces about B, what you're going to do is you're just going to sum moments about point B. So anytime you have more than one force, um, that creating that is creating a moment about your point, you're going to want to sum moments and you just want to pick a direction, a rotation direction as positive. I'm picking counterclockwise as positive rotation here. So that means everything that is rotating counterclockwise about B will be positive. Everything clockwise will be negative. So let's go ahead and let's start with our Fy force. So we have 692.8 newtons. Our perpendicular distance would be a horizontal distance because it is a vertical force. So that would be 200 millimeters to get it over to point B. It is rotating clockwise about point B because it's going to swing around point B like this as if it was tethered to point B. So it's going to be swinging around. So that is negative. And then our Fx, which is 400 newtons times its perpendicular distance, which would be the 160 millimeters because it is a horizontal force, needs a vertical distance. It also would be swinging clockwise about point B as if it were tethered to point B and swinging around. So that would also be negative. Maybe I should have made clockwise my positive rotation. And that's all we have here. So let's just tally this up real quick. So this gives me a minus 202,560 Newton millimeters of rotational force so let's go ahead and drop the minus sign. So whenever we have a minus sign popping out, that means we are in the opposite direction that we assumed is positive. So that means it will actually be going clockwise. So let's drop that minus sign. So my moment about point B would be equal to 
12,560 newton millimeters, and it will be rotating clockwise about point B, or you could divide it by 1,000, and it would be 202.56 kilonewton millimeters rotating clockwise. And that's how you would solve that particular problem. Just keep in mind, um, based upon your rotation error, what you took is positive. If it came out minus, that means it's going in the opposite direction. So drop the minus sign and flip the arrow direction. And that's how you would solve that particular problem. How to find the moment about point B. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.